Pilkington, UK has long had a well-established history with the industrial northwest of England, and in particular, Lancashire. Now today I've travelled to Mere Sands Woods, a former sand quarry that was originally used by Pilkington, UK to harvest their sand to make their glass. Of course, these days, it's been reclaimed by nature, with a little help from the Lancashire Wildlife Trust. So it's fitting that this should be one of the first places to install Pilkington Navy Safe. The site's visitor centre has recently increased its footprint. So I'm meeting with Lindsay Beaton, the reserve manager, to find out more. Hi Lindsay, how do you do? Hi Greg, hello, good to meet you. As far as offices go, this one's not a bad one. Even on a cold day like this, it's a pretty good one. It's a lot better than being in some air-conditioned, centrally heated box, yes. You guys here decided that you were going to create a new visitor centre. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit more about that? There were two factors. There was a, a push factor, if you like, um, which was the fact that the building we had was not fit for purpose anymore. We had ridiculous logistical problems, like only two toilets. If you have 80,000 visitors a year, that's not enough. So there were things pushing us to say, we need to do something more for our visitors, for our volunteers. So we did some business planning, um, we did a visitor survey, and the result was that we came up with was having a cafe would um, provide a facility that visitors were asking us for and also an income stream to support this reserve and its wildlife. Now the building itself is very unique in, in that when you were planning to build this, you, you wanted it to fit into the landscape. Yes, yes, we didn't want anything to go above the tree line. We thought about different options like having a raised building, but at the end of the day we wanted something that just sat in the landscape. It's not about the building itself, it's what you can see from when you're inside it and what you look out and the, the wildlife around you. I understand that one of the products you've chosen to use in the new CAF is actually Pilkington Navy Safe, is that right? Yes, it is, yes. The idea of that was to diminish the risk of bird strikes, of birds killing themselves basically by flying into the glass windows. And the great thing about it also from the other point of view is from the people sitting in the building looking outside, it doesn't obscure their view. It's just hardly discernible. You've just got to sort of wiggle your head about to just about make it out. So it, it performs the function of the birds from the outside. To them, it looks really like strong, dark bars, um, but to us, humans from the inside, it's fine. We've still got lovely uninterrupted views. The reserve is a hotspot for bird watchers, and there's little wonder really when you consider that there's over 170 known species to frequent the site over the year. Today, I'm meeting with Simon Slade, not only a bird watcher, but a member of the Pilkington UK team who played a crucial role in the development of Pilkington Navy Safe. Hi Simon, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now Simon, you are very, very passionate when it comes to birds, aren't you? I am, yes. I've been bird watching for over 50 years now. That passion and that enthusiasm must have been very useful when it came to the development of Pilkington Navy Safe. Yeah, certainly. I mean, I was very, very pleased to ask to join the team and I've been helping work on this for a few years now. Well, birds fly into windows for two reasons mainly. Sometimes they can see th straight through, but most often they fly into reflections. I mean, humans can see the glasses there, Birds haven't got that perception and they don't know there's anything there, so they fly into a reflection. There was a big study done a couple of years ago in North America where a billion birds were found to be killed just in North America. Can you imagine what that's like around the whole world? Many billions of birds are killed by flying into glass. And with this innovation from NSG, that's going to change things, is it? Yeah, absolutely it will. AviSafe will do a brilliant job reducing the number of birds that fly into windows all around the world. Okay, so how does it actually work then? Most birds can see some ultraviolet light. They've got what's called four cones in their eyes. Humans have only got three. We can see into the blue, but most birds can see also into the ultraviolet. And this innovation has got these amazing stripes put down by some people in our coatings team. They've developed it so that it reflects precisely at the wavelength where birds have got the most optimum of their UV vision. Birds will see a really bright stripe in front of the reflection. So therefore they know there's something there and they don't fly towards it. But if you're inside looking out, it does have very low visibility compared to others. It's a really great product for that reason. It's also becoming something that is required by law in some countries. That's right, yeah, that's right. Just recently in America, a new law has been put through Congress, which will ensure that bird protecting 
glass is used in some specific cases where it's absolutely necessary. And AV Safe will allow the building developers to be able to comply with the law. It's a really, really important and new innovation. So there you have it, Pilkington AV Safe, a truly innovative product, but also a product that could potentially save the lives of billions of birds across the globe.